Hello everyone, welcome to yet another video by Coders Daily and in this particular video we are going to solve another hacker rank C programming questions known as printing pattern using loops, right? So let's get started by reading the problem statement. So what exactly uh, this question is telling us is right that we need to print a pattern which looks something like this, right? and what would be the input given to us would be just a single number n right so hacker rank will just give us a number n and based on that we need to print a pattern now whenever you see any questions on pattern solving or you need to debug a pattern right first you need to find a pattern in that particular pattern right so what that what do i mean by finding a pattern inside a pattern right first of all just visualize what is coming as an output right for example in this particular scenario let's see what is the length over here horizontally and what is the length vertically right so if i count it right the input given over here could be anything right could be anything right so as far as i can consider uh like over here like i'll just move downwards I'll start with a simpler example, right? What I told you is to find a pattern inside the pattern, right? So over here, the sample input, uh, which is given to us is two. Now, what you see is that there are three lines of code horizontally, three lines horizontally and three lines vertically, right? So two, two, two and two, 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 right? So there, uh, the, the matrix or the output, which you are getting is of same, uh, length and width right so x comma y x comma y is similar right so let's just say if the input was 2 so the output which you got was 3 comma 3 like 3 uh, rows and 3 columns now coming to 5 right over here you can see that it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 9 uh, what we can say is 9 columns right and coming to the rows again i'll see what is the output we are getting so one two three four five six seven eight nine right so nine from here and nine from uh in rows and nine from column so the matrix was nine comma nine over here matrix was three comma three the input given was two and the input go given over here is five what i can predict from here is that the number of rows and number of columns is decided using this formula 2 into n minus 1 right so let's just say if uh, i have an input of 5 my number of rows and columns would be 9 so if i put in this uh, particular formula 2 into 5 minus 1 right so 10 minus 1 would be 9 which is correct right over here 2 so 2 into 2 4 minus 1 right so output would be 3 why this is very crucial over here in this particular question is because uh we need to create a loop right to generate all these numbers we need to create a loop which runs row wise as well as column wise right so we'll have to create a, a set of nested loops which will generate this much amount of numbers right so i hope you have got uh the understanding how it is working now coming to the formula that initially when the row is the row number is one right when the no number is one you need to take all the numbers as five when the row is two you need to just take five at the corners and then all the numbers would be four thirdly five and four and then all the numbers as three 5, 4, and 3, and then all the number as 2. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then reverse of it, right? To generate this particular thing, we need to create two formulas, right? Uh, those formulas will work on conditional basis, right? So what you can do is, we need to find what is the minimum value which we need to go till, right? So I have created a formula for myself that could be a best solution. Uh, if you if you uh, like it, just let me know in the comment section. So I'll just move towards uh, creating the code and then let's see how we how we move forward. Right. I hope you will understand it. Right. 
so over here first of all what i'll do is i'll create or I'll define a variable called length so int length len equals to 2 into n minus 1 right and after that i'll create two loops right so that we can generate a row also and we can generate columns also right so for int n i equals to 0 as usual i always mostly starts with 0 and i is is less than len right because we go to we like like let's just say n is 5 so we need to run uh create nine rows nine columns so in that way it should be less than len right uh i plus plus right and similarly the same thing will go for columns also because rows and columns are equal in this particular case so for end of j same copy paste for loop would be created over here j is less than len or j plus plus right so this is done we have created two loops okay i have just missed a semicolon <laughs> what happens is i work with python more in my day-to-day -day life right so most of the time i miss the semicolons when i code it in c uh, because in python we don't have any kind of semicolons so i hope i just ignore my mistake uh, on this now what i'm doing is i'm creating an int minimum variable which i am trying to make something like this i should be less than j okay question mark i colon j okay anyone uh, if anyone has understood it like you have a great programming acumen but if someone has not uh, understood it right i'll just try to make you understand once i finish the code right after that what i'll do is minimum equals to minimum less than len minus i question mark minimum colon len minus i minus one <laughs> after that i'll also define one more minimum minimum equals to minimum less than len minus j of i minus one question mark minimum len minus j minus j minus one all right and after that i'll just run a printf to print everything uh percentage d comma and minus minimum print f slash n okay and then this semi colon all right so we are done with the coding part of our questions what i'll do is i'll just run it once and then i'll try to explain it to you guys like what i have done i just wanted to check uh that my solution is correct right so i'll just run this code so my test cases are failing uh okay so to give the space i'll just give a space it uh over here percentage d and space all right so my test cases are running fine and then what i'll do is i'll just submit my code now i just want to make you understand right what is the meaning of this minimum and everything which i have created so now let's ex uh let, let me move into the explanation of this particular code right so it's a bit of complex code that is why it is of 30 uh 30 points right so over here let me explain you what i have done over here right so this is where we are cre converting or creating minimum values now what is this sign uh works as right so this works in a way that i have created minimum equals to i is less than j so this is a condition right and question mark over here works as an if else statement over here i am just uh, explaining you this line of code 
right and then i colon j so if this condition is true minimum of value would be i and if the condition is false minimum of value of of, of this would be j so this is what i have created over here below this minimum equals to minimum is less than minimum is less than length minus i agar minimum if minimum is less than length minus i so whatever would be the value of i if it is less than that we will consider minimum as length of i minus 1 right and if minimum of minimum is less than length of minus j minus i so basically you can consider these three points as an if else statement right these are if else statements in a way which is shortcut for us so question marks is as, uh, working as an uh, shortcut right so it is asked mostly in the interviews also that how can you replace question mark with some other values or maybe if else with some other things right so question mark is one way to do it so anyone who is preparing for an interview should should know this right so let's just dry run it once right so i'll erase everything and let's move forward so initially when the loop will run for the first time the value of i would be zero right i would be zero and value of j would also be zero okay now when both the values of i is zero zero right will set minimum equals to zero is less than zero question mark i colon j so what do you think like zero is less than zero so it is false obviously so j would be the minimum value so initially for the first iteration of our loop minimum is zero <coughs> now coming to the next point minimum equals to minimum is less than length minus i colon minimum colon length minus i minus 1 ठीक है सो मिनिमम अभी जीरो है मिनिमम इज जीरो लेंथ माइनस आई सो आई की वैल्यू आई इज जीरो राइट नाउ एंड लेंथ ऑफ आर लाइक लेट्स जस्ट इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इज फाइव सो आर लेंथ इज बेसिकली लाइक टू इंटू फाइव माइनस वन सो इट वुड बी नाइन आर लेंथ इज नाइन एंड ऑल्सो मिनिमम इज लेस देन लेंथ माइनस आई सो एट बेसिकली राइट सो जीरो इज लेस देन एट so obviously this is true so we'll keep minimum as zero iske niche aate hain again minimum equals to minimum of minimum is less than length minus j minus i right uh, so sorry it should be because the value of i is zero so length should be 9 only it is true so value is zero minimum value is zero minimum is again zero is less than length minus j minus i length is 9 minus j is 0 minus 1 8 question mark minimum minus j right so what we'll have to print over here is n minus minimum so minimum is 0 so the value of n was 5 so 5 minus 0 will print theek hai second time when we'll run the loop the value of j would become 1 right but minimum would still be 5 uh, like 0 so it will keep on printing 5 5 5 for the first loop next time we'll run the loop at that point of time initially for the first time the value of the value of uh, minimum would be 5 but on the second iteration it will again become 4 so we'll print something like this 5 4 4 4 4 4 right so the main point of understanding over here was that what what is the meaning of this question marks right so i hope you have got this solution perfectly if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel thank you so much